slash local. That's 1-866-955-0429 or go to kp.org slash local now. Boom! Next thing I know, I was hurt in a car accident. Boom! Just like that, we can help you get your life back on track. $500,000 from my case. Boom, baby! Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call now or visit lawbrothers.com. Now at four, a dispute erupts in gunfire in the Hollywood Hills after a homeowner opens fire on his neighbor. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. And today for Samantha Cortese, an investigation underway right now. It's happening in the Hollywood Hills after a homeowner shoots his neighbor, who police say forced his way into the house and refused to leave. KTLA's Mary Beth McDay joins us live in Hollywood with the very latest. MB. Hi, you guys. Yes, police are investigating this afternoon. What led one neighbor to shoot another neighbor up in the Hollywood Hills today? Police tell us that around 11 this morning in the 2200 block of Chalin Place, one neighbor who we're told by other neighbors is named Alex crossed the street and entered his neighbor's house. Police tell us that Alex got into some sort of a dispute with that homeowner. They say that homeowner then shot Alex. Neighbors tell us Alex has been suffering from mental illness and drug abuse. Authorities say Alex is in stable condition tonight with non-life-threatening injuries. He didn't sound like a normal human being like that doesn't have a problem, but everybody does. But to me, what I sense was like this guy's going through something told me his dad passed away and that's why he sold him the car it was his father's car i was kind of worried because after he told me what had happened i just thank god it could have been us police questioned and released that homeowner they officially tell us that they don't know what the dispute was about only that the investigation is ongoing and i do just want to mention that um, i thought we were going to throw to a, an officer soundbite but instead the man that we just heard from he actually drove down from las vegas to buy a car from alex and then he arrived in the middle of this whole shooting and dispute and that was his take on the whole situation that occurred this morning now coming up at five o'clock we're going to hear from another neighbor who's going to shed some light on what may have triggered today's incident. For now, reporting live here in Hollywood, Mary Beth McDade. We'll send back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. A Los Angeles County High School is rocked for the second story day after a student is found armed with a gun. It happened at Redondo Union High School, which went into immediate lockdown this morning. All right, let's get right to our Rachel Minotoff. She is in Redondo Beach, and she's got the... Doors. The Redondo Police Department is now investigating the source of these firearms and whether or not these two incidents are related. A massive line of parents outside Redondo Union High School Tuesday morning, which went on lockdown around 9 a.m. based on a message sent home to parents by school officials. For the second time in two days, a student reportedly brought a gun to campus. The school district says a 10th grader brought the weapon, then fled on foot, prompting the campus lockdown. He was eventually detained. Police did a full sweep of the school, which announced via email that by 10 o'clock, the school was secure. Many, though, opted to leave for the rest of the day. Mason Ramirez's parents picked him up as soon as they got word of what happened. It's quite scary. I've heard a couple friends say that their parents aren't going to let them come back to school for the week, and uh, I believe my mom said that too. Tuesday's incident comes a day after a student was arrested for allegedly possessing a gun with a high-capacity magazine. No one was injured in either of these instances, but for Amanda Batista, who's a junior, the back-to-back -back scares are unsettling. At first, I was I thought it was a drill, but then like seeing my teacher a little like nervous and freaked out, I realized it was like something actually serious. She says everyone in her classroom covered the windows and was told to sit silently on the floor for about 50 minutes. All the while, she's texting her mom. Not knowing what's happening is, it's so hard. And even for her, knowing, in, being in there, but also not knowing what's happening. Amanda opted to stay and finish out her last class. I know this happened yesterday also. Yeah. What was it like hearing this for another day in a row? 
It was honestly pretty scary. Like, I didn't understand, like...